Hi, so this week I chose the 1999 Newberry Award winner, Holes, by Lewis Shacker. It was published in 1998 and is appropriate for ages 10 and up. So, Holes follows the life of Stanley Yelnitz and how he navigates the life after his grandfather's supposed curse that has brought all the unlucky things onto their family. So we pick up, Stanley has been falsely accused of theft and as a result he is sentenced and he chooses to go to a camp, Camp Green Lake, uh, which is a juvenile detention camp. So he meets some boys at this camp and the purpose of being at this camp is they're digging holes like five foot holes and they just dig them all the time you know and the, in the story the story kind of goes back and forth some so at one point you get to see why Stanley's great-grandfather is cursed you know and how and then it kind of gives you the showing of how Stanley and Zero are also connected which I will let you read the book to figure that one out um, but as I just said, Stanley becomes good friends with Zero. He's another boy that has been sent to Camp Green Lake. Um, and, you know, as I said, their duty, they're digging holes. Well, one day, Stanley's digging one of his holes, and he finds a tube of lipstick. And it has the inscription KB on it. And he instantly thinks it could be Kate Barlow's lipstick KB so he shows it to well he gives it to another camper and they turn it into the warden and as a result the warden starts making them dig more and more so he finally is like okay so the we're digging more holes there's not something that's going there has to be something going on here and he finally works it out that the warden's looking for something and that she is using them to try and find it you know as their work increases, Zero eventually runs away. A couple days later, Stanley follows him, finds him, and carries him up a mountain. And they get, eat onions and live on sploosh for a week. And then they finally decide that they're going to come back to camp and find what the warden has been looking for. So they go back to the hole where Stanley found the lipstick, do some more digging, and they find a suitcase that actually has Stanley's name on it, which, bear in mind, he is named after his great-grandfather. The warden tries to claim it, but eventually it is decided that because Stanley's name on it, he gets to keep it. And at the same time this is all happening, Stanley's lawyer shows up and says that he has been proven innocent to the theft and that he is free to go. So Stanley and Zero get to leave the camp together. So the setting, most of it, as I've said, takes place in present day, which the story was published in 1998. Present day in Camp Green Lake, which is set in Texas. And Camp Green Lake is actually the site of a big dried up lake. So it's very dry, hot. You know, they don't get a lot of rain there. That's why the lake dried up. Um, but it also goes back in time a big portion 110 years ago before Green Lake dried up when it had peach trees growing around it back in Kate Barlow's time. Theme, I think, in this book, cruelty does not earn respect. It does not get you what you desire. The warden was cruel to the boys and she never got the treasure she was looking for. You know, it's another reason. I also think it could be good. You know, Stanley, he stuck to his beliefs. You know, he didn't let the warden's cruel behavior change how he thought of himself, how he acted towards others. You know, he realized that the warden wasn't going to get what she wanted. And so, with this book, I think a great activity, a whole unit, you know, comprehension questions over each chapter, 
quizzes over every couple of chapters, a comprehensive test at the end. I also think it would be good to have students watch the movie holes, compare and contrast it with the book, write a short paper over it, about six paragraphs, introduction, two similarity paragraphs, two different paragraphs, and a conclusion. A fun activity I found, though, was also making the sploosh that is mentioned in this book. You know, Captain Barlow's canned peaches that they get to live on, with the nickname Sploosh. So as a class, make it, you know, get the kids to try it, see what they, what they had to live on for a couple, for about a week to survive. And I did link that on my actual written paper for this book. So I definitely recommend Holes. Go out to your local library and find it.